This is the HC-SR501Qrin sensor module pyroelectric infrared sensor. Um, it's a it's a device that senses motion. Um, this is unwired, and when wired, it just so that as you move, you see the LED lighting up. As I move in front of the sensor, the LED lights up. It is this uh, very simple. Wiring, yeah. It's the simplest circuit you can use with this. It's, uh, it's, uh, it, it, it just has um, three pins, and you can use any kind of connector. Like uh, one of the connectors you take out of the CD-ROM and connect them to this here. These three pins, and I don't know if you can see that, but. Um, this one's uh, five volts. Uh, well, that's, that's the positive voltage. That's the uh, the middle pin is the output, and the uh, pin on the right is the uh, ground. So that's positive output and ground. It says five volts, but I've been able to use it up to twenty four volts. This. little chip here that one that's a voltage regulator it's got like three pins and a little heat sink here that accept voltage from uh, four point five to twenty four volts. And at at about five volts it uses about sixty microamps. So that's that would be like point zero six milliamps. And I, I, I like to run Right now it's running on, in my wiring it's running off of uh, 12 volts, here 12 volts. So it's actually using uh, 76 microamps at 12 volts. The uh, pin in the middle, the output here, it, it'll sync about uh, 10 milliamps at 3.3 volts. It, it, the regulator takes any Voltage like 12 volts, and it'll it'll, it'll, it'll uh, step it down to 3.3 volts. No matter what you put in, from 5 to 12, 24 volts, it'll step it down to 3.3 volts. So if you connect the little LED there, you can you can just put any LED, and it'll just light it up a little bit. It won't burn it out. You don't need a uh, resistor or anything. You can use a, a uh, infrared coupler, infrared uh, coupler. If you want, I don't have it here, but yeah. Um, you can also drive a uh, NPN uh, transistor. So let's say. Um, uh, like, uh, you can you can take the output and drive a, uh, a standard transistor, any transistor, preferably something with a heatsink. So when you move, so when you move in front of the device, it lights it up. Lights up the LED, gives you an on pulse, then it switches off again. If you keep your hand in, in front of the device, see that 
even if you stay in front of it, it it it, it shuts off. So after a few seconds, it's, it'll switch back on again, and then off, and then on, and then off, like uh, like when you go to those uh, public toilets, and and you can you go in front of those uh, those uh, uh, touchless uh, faucets, and it keeps switching off. So it's all like that, I guess. So I guess you need a uh, if you need to use this as a like a timer for. Uh, like a like a bathroom light, for example. If you, if you, if you want to use this as a bathroom light, you might need, need to put like a, a timer there. So, um, so like this will just trigger the timer and it'll just reset it each time you move. Just the way it keeps flashing. So um, think of like a, a screensaver, like a computer screensaver. Where when you keep moving the mouse and keyboard, it'll, it'll stay on. But as, uh, as when you don't touch the computer, it, it it'll just screensaver will kick in and the display will turn off after a while. And then when it when it shuts, uh, it shuts with the uh, cover off this I've seen this with uh, different um, model names but um, you, know, you can see that the printing on, on the circuit board itself it says uh, uh, HC uh, HC dash uh, SR five zero one SR five zero one. So the two um, terminals here, the two uh, uh, resistors here that you could twist. And the one on the left is the, uh, I think that's the sensitivity. On the right, it's, it's the uh, timer. So when you, so I think the sensitivity is from a few inches up to, um, I think a couple of feet. The um, timer goes. I forget what the. Uh, I forget what the timer does. Um, I, th I think it goes from like a, a few seconds to like uh, three hundred seconds. And uh, so that's it.